Joining us here live in the day has been heralded by Chris Rock and appeared on the David Letterman Show. I'd like to welcome uh, comedian, actor, and comedy writer Dwayne Kennedy. How are you doing? Hey, Good fine, to see you. Fine. How, How are you, you doing? All? Great. I'm Good. great. You good? All right, yeah, then. yeah, yeah. I was looking at that story, man. Um, I don't think, I think cats, dogs have, you know, mutual unconcern about you. I don't, you know, does it matter? Do you have one or the other? I have a dog. Yeah. Yeah. I have cats too. The cats are downstairs because the dog is upstairs. Yeah. Got a pit bull. He's nice. <laughs> I believe you. Yeah. To you and yeah. who else? Everybody? Everybody. Yeah. Everybody. Very friendly dog. Doesn't like other dogs too much. Mm -hmm. But people, loves people. Yeah. yeah. So your pit bull is a people person? Yes. Okay. okay. Yes. Eats people. <laughs> <laughs> Prefers. Yeah. <laughs> what brings you to town? Uh, I'm here to do uh, the Detroit. What am I here to do, Chuck? I don't know. Something in the Detroit the D. comedy. Yeah, the D. Yeah. Yeah, Detroit comedy underground. That's what I'm here to do. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, they asked me to come, and I said, "Why not?" And then they told me I was going to do the TV show, and I said, "Of course." Well, that's Absolutely. awesome. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. What's yeah. your opinion of kids in restaurants? Uh, I'm against it. Yeah, I mean, you know, five years old. Like I said, they got Chuck E. Cheese. You got the park. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the so park. Then how do kids yeah. learn sit down and be quiet? Uh, you learn it at the crib, and then when you turn six. You know what? Okay. Oh, that's the <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You groom them. Yeah, you groom them at home. Yeah. You know what I mean? You get about six or seven, then we're going to try you out. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Me <laughs> try you out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean,. I mean, kids don't have to go everywhere, right? Because, yeah. I mean, how creepy is it for, like, a, when you see a lot of adults at Chuck E. Cheese? You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of spooky. you're always there to, for a kid. So, you're, I mean, we don't want to go to Chuck E. Cheese at all. Right. But sometimes <laughs> oh. parents want to oh, go out. Oh, yeah, that's out. it. Parents want to go out. Parents want to go out without the kids, no? Yeah, they do. Yeah, they yeah. want to break. I don't have kids, so I don't know. But I'm just saying, I think that going out as a kid for me was a good thing because I learned to sit down, mm -hmm. be still, you learned mm -hmm. some and mind your manners. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, Carson on Facebook Old says school. an Italian restaurant in a plaza uh, has a stuffy attitude toward <laughs> kids. Oh, wow. Pow. Please talk to the hand. Pow, oh, pow, pow. You, if you saw the video. The, the restaurant we we're talking about was in a like strip a mall. Strip mall. Yeah. Yeah. I was. Oh, so, that's so different. tell us about this underground event. What's what's happening? Well, Chuck, it's going to be comedy, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah that's we'll, see we were how, we'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, um, these cats contacted me. I was in Chicago, and they said, hey, you want to come up and do the Detroit Comedy Underground? Yeah. And I said, well, sure. Does it pay? And what did they say? And they said, well, we'll see. You know what I mean? We'll pass the hat. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, we'll get you enough money that you can go to a Chuck E. Cheese or something. So we'll, yeah, yeah. And we, we got you, you for the big waffle. bucks. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hmm? I said we can give you half a waffle. Oh, you know what? Yeah. Yeah. Do you Are those put chicken, chicken with waffles? Do you do that? I don't do that. I no. bet you didn't get that on Letterman. Only here would That's you right. get chicken and waffles. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. We don't have any money, brother, but would you like some chicken wings? <laughs> oh, you've met our team. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> um, that looks that looks great. So what's it like to be on Letterman? Tell us about that for you. It was, uh, it was uh, cool, man. You, um, you go, where you, first you audition to do the show, and then um, they, have what the, I, I, uh, they have a comedy the producer. Oh, okay. So you, you mostly deal with that person. At the time, it was this cat named Eddie Brill. So I auditioned for Eddie. He liked me. And then he, he walks me through the whole thing. Come out to New York. You run. You go to different clubs and run. your. First, you give them your set that you want to do. And then you, uh, you run that set, I don't know, five, six times at various clubs. Mm -hmm. And then you come on the show. Wow. Yeah. And uh, very cold in the studio. It's freezing in yeah, the studio. Yeah, it's like 50 degrees in there. Right? Yeah. I think uh, Letterman just liked it cold. I think he didn't like to sweat under those lights or whatever it was. And I never even really met him until after I had done my set on mm -hmm. the show. And then he came up to me, hey, good job. And then I turned to speak to Paul. <laughs> and when I turned back, Letterman had just vanished. Yeah, yeah, yeah wow. he was gone. Hey, good job, boom. Kept done. it moving. Kept it moving. I got right. money to count. There you yeah. go. Right. There you go. You know what I mean? I got to get back up to Connecticut. <laughs> oh, we are getting you know away. I, mean? I got things to do. <laughs> yeah. Two tickets to tonight's show, Detroit Laugh City Comedy at the Dime. The show is at 8 p.m. For your chance to win, go to the clickondetroit.com contest page. Good stuff. I think All right. Some, some well, good it's good vibe. to see you, man. Oh, Welcome thank you to for town. being yeah, here. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you for yeah. being here. Have a great time.